It's just getting harder and harder to find good ground that has gold on it. And it's getting frustrating because I've never had to compete with this many people for the little bit of ground that's out there. To help him win the race for gold-rich ground, master prospector Dave Turin needs a secret weapon. The longer we take prospecting a piece of ground that doesn't have gold on it, you know, it costs money, it costs valuable time. So it's really imperative that we get in and get out quickly. If we don't innovate, we're not gonna have that edge. So I'm gonna go meet with Juan. I've got an idea. Dave, what's going on, buddy? I found it. This Work is awesome. in progress, huh? Not this bad. Is awesome. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. No problem. Well, I got your trailer. What What do you want to do with it? Everywhere I go prospecting, Juan, it takes me so long to hand test. So what I was thinking is, if we could put a portable plant together that's easy to move. I, I love the idea. How much time do we have for this build? I'm supposed to be in Arizona in a week. I hate to do it, but I've got to get out there and start prospecting. Really? Can you do it? I'm going to try my best. You know, Dave's asking a lot. Honestly, there's probably three weeks worth of work here. I've been with Juan before where we're in trouble and we need to get something done immediately, and Juan's the guy. The portable plant will be built onto a 20-foot trailer. You know, it looks like a really big trailer right now, but it's not. We got to make sure that we maximize uh, our area that we have there and use it wisely. So what I was thinking is a 10 or 11 foot trommel. From here, Juan, I was thinking the conveyor. Right there, 10 foot, exactly. 10 foot conveyor would work? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Dave's plan, build a portable wash plant capable of completing a yard bulk sample in six minutes. All contained within the footprint of the trailer. A 10-foot hopper-mounted conveyor will feed pay into a 10-foot trunk, allowing a detachable tailings conveyor to hang out over the back, while a 10-foot removable sluice run catches the gold. All right, let's go. What we're going to do is build a channel iron conveyor. It's one of the most basic conveyor designs. It's very easy, very simple. Your idlers sit on here, and your conveyor belt's here. It allows us to prospect quick and hopefully find some good ground. This is a game changer. It's revolutionary for us. I truly like the idea that Dave has with this portable wash plant. His timelines are a little crazy. How's that look good? Good. But uh, we're going to try like hell. Fleet Mullen Jimmy. All the welds are good and stuff like that. I mean, the sprocket actually looks you know, pretty decent shape, too. Does it move? Yeah, it moves. This is just what I'm looking for, some type of a little trauma, but it looks too long to me. What do you think? I, I, I think we can do it, Dave. There's only one way to find out. Let's get it in there, put it on there, see if those conveyors are going to work. Great all. We'll pull the trailer out and get it set up on there. All right, OK. Cool. The mini trommel can run 12 yards an hour and comes with a ready-made pre-wash box. Go ahead. But it's two feet longer than Dave's original design. I have one more, Dave. What do you think? Is that going to work, Nate? Let me close one. No. They were on the back edge of this. It's going to be tight. Let's lift that conveyor and put it on here to see if it's all going to fit on there. We're trying to get all these different pieces together. You know, this is Dave's design. I'm hoping that uh, he knows what he's doing. There you go. Now swing. You can now down. I think it's too steep. I think it's got to come down. Losing part of our pre-wash box. If you look, we're hitting all there already. With space on the trailer at a premium, Dave can't get the Trummel's pre-wash box to line up with his feed conveyor. We've got a 20-foot trailer. I've got a 10-foot conveyor. I wanted a 10-foot Trommel. Now we've got a 12-foot Trommel. We've got two feet that we got to make up. I don't know what to do.
Can we push this forward a little more? We can always adjust those legs further back. So even if we do stick out a little further here, yeah, I think that would be the best solution. What we're going to do is take these jack stands off, build some new stands, move this back, and then we cheat a foot up there. And now we've made up for the two extra feet in this. And what that allows us to do is we're saving a lot of time because I don't have to rebuild all this. The crew will reposition the legs, allowing the extra length of the trommel to hang over the trailer. What do you want it, Dave? Let's see. How far back do we want it? Get it back about a foot. I like that. I think it looks good there. That's it, sunshine. You happy with it, Dave? I'm happy. We just had to move that trommel back, which then dumps our conveyor in there at the right spot, and it's going to work, save us a lot of time. So right now, we're in a good spot. I think we're going to make it. I like it, Dave. Let's just hope it works well. It looks good. Now, we're going to find out if it actually runs. So we're hooking up water. We're going to run a little bit of dirt and rocks through there. We don't have a lot of time. I'm happy it came together. Honestly, I was doubting that we were going to be able to get it done in time, but here it is. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to run it and see what it does. I'm hoping that it runs as good as it looks. OK, maiden voyage. Think it'll work? Find out. <laughs> Oh, boy, there we got water. Let's put some rocks in there and see what happens. Go, Dave, let's go. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. First bucket. It's working. Good. I like it. It's a future. I mean, this can help us get more gold. You know, this could be the difference in a successful season or not. You know, this isn't production, but it really makes a difference when we get a fine ground. And this is going to give us the edge. What okay. are you going to name this thing? I like the beetle. We had the roach, right? It's a survivor. It eats what's left over. Well, the beetle's kind of the same thing. It's just smaller. I like the beetle. Yeah. I like it. The beetle is ready for the open road, able to run 12 yards of dirt an hour and travel long distances, giving Dave an edge at testing more ground faster than any other prospector. You know what? That's a lot of hard work, but you guys did a hell of a job. The welding looks good. Design works. Everything's working. Thank you so much, you guys. No problem, I appreciate it. Thank you. No and if you guys need anything, let us know. We're always here to help, OK? Always. Thank you. Let's go find All some right, gold. Dave. Let's go get some gold. Yeah!